Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Sky Factory. Man, we are high above the ground. <laughs> I was just looking. I think it's really cool. So it's nighttime. You can see that the moon is up there. And then you look over the edge. I was just seeing it. I guess it's maybe over there. But anyway, as the moon goes down, like this, or the moon comes up, the sun goes like underneath the platform, which I think is kind of cool. Man, we are truly up here in space. It's a little sketchy around here, that's for sure. <laughs> but we are doing pretty good. Man, I've been farming up a bunch of these crazy mineral trees. Oh man, they're awesome. I love it. I think today we're going to try to get a generator going. You know, we need to do some other things, of course. But, you know, I think a generator would be kind of fun to do. And we get to mess around a little bit with this mod, this integrated dynamics mod. I'm just coming over here every once in a while and just grabbing all the cobblestone out of this cobblestone generator you know I think it's pretty cool the problem is though you can't you can't get the cobblestone out <laughs> I mean it it makes it but you have to I guess right click on it to get it out I know that you can use uh, like a transfer node let's look at that up and see what we need to do transfer node items uh, we need some pipe we need some couple little odds and ends there some andesite we actually have some some of that stuff chest let's see what these pipes are some glass is it any glass yeah some slabs yeah we could probably make some of that maybe we'll work on that today too if we could get to a point where we could automate this kind of cobblestone generation so that we don't have to keep clicking on it I want to show you how well <laughs> I was gonna tell you I was gonna show you what I've been doing off camera but there's not a whole lot Essentially, I've just been taking cobblestone, compressing it like this. Let's just do one piece, right? Like this right here. Putting it down on the ground, like a so. Hitting it with a hammer. And then we get nine pieces of gravel. And then I've been going back over here to our crafting bench. I've been compressing the gravel. Go over here and put that down. And then we break that and we get some sand. And we just repeat that process. All right, so there's our now compressed sand. And we break that, and then we just go that, and we get a bunch of dust. <laughs> it's exciting work, I know. Now, obviously, I've been doing it, like, you know, a bunch more than just one. And then we just run all this compressed stuff through our heavy oak sieve, and we get, you know, random stuff out. It's kind of cool. So, we got a couple things we're going to take care of in today's episode. I want to get to the point where I can build this uh, integrated dynamics generator. I forgot the name of the mom. I want to say, for some reason, integrated doesn't stick in my mind but I want to get to the point where we can build this generator we also want to get to the point where we can automate our cobblestone generating generation yeah 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 and there was one more thing that I wanted to do that is just now oh 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 no 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 it hasn't slipped my mind we need to get some sort of storage system going so I think we're gonna go with storage drawers here at the beginning man they're not great I don't love them you know, they don't work all that great for me, but I think they'll do okay. And I know that down the road we can hook them up to refined storage, because that's probably where we'll end up, somewhere around in the refined storage land. So I was thinking maybe we would work on that. I actually have some chests made here in my inventory, some of the little odds and ends. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this area over here be storage. I think that'll work. You know, we're going to have to run back and forth. The other thing I'm going to do is when this tree comes down, I don't have an axe with me. I broke my last one mining or chopping down the rest of these trees. When this uh, tree comes down, though, I don't think we're going to plant another one here. We're going to pull that piece of dirt out of there and maybe put it over here or something. Just because, you know, it's kind of in the way, especially if we're going to put storage over there. We don't want to keep weaving in and out, in and around that tree. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to be able to get some to build that generator and to build extra utility or yeah extra utilities transfer pipes we need to get ourselves some redstone and the way you get redstone there's a couple ways one is to grow it <laughs> which we are not quite in a position to do that as of yet the other way is we can run compressed dust through a heavy sieve with iron stiffened mesh so that's pretty easy to make and we talked about that in our last episode that we wanted to get to the point where we can make that and then I got myself six pieces of iron I just did that process over and over again you can see we've got um, 
Is it in this chest? See, that's the problem. That's the reason. So yeah, we got 15 iron ore pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's working out pretty good. So let's see if we can't make this iron impregnated or iron stiffened mesh. Mesh? Ooh, that's a hard word for me to say sometimes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get... There's string, there's flint, there's iron. Okay, let's just click that guy in. Bang. Got that. Let's get an empty hand here. We'll click this guy out. Hi. Oh, I need an empty hand. Let's shift click that guy out. And then we'll put this in there just like so. And we'll put this mesh away somewhere. Okay, put it over there with our string one. Now, if we just had some compressed dust... We could get ourselves some redstone, maybe. Let's see how much cobblestone we end up having. Um, can we go like this? Can we make 32 compressed? Oh, yeah, we can. We can actually make more than that. All right, there's 32 compressed. Let's grab that out of there. Maybe we'll go like, like a so. Put this in the middle. There's 48. Do we have any more cobble? We do. Let's see. We're going to be just a little bit short, but that's okay. We'll get more. I bet if we go like a so. There we go. I mean, it's producing cobblestone pretty quick. There's 54. Man, that'll be good. I bet we can get some redstone with that for sure. And then we just got to put it down like I've been doing over and over again. I mean, this isn't anything new to me. Probably not new to you guys either if you've played any of these mods before that have this, this, uh, was it X Nilo in it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's what it is <laughs> where we have to sieve these items to get all the items out of them so let me go ahead and do this quick you know I'm gonna just spend a few seconds here knocking down all this stuff turn it into compressed dust and I'll bring you back whenever we're ready to start putting this thing through its paces and see if we can't get a little bit of redstone out of it I'll see you in just a second alrighty my friends we are back and we're getting ready to run all this compressed dust started out with 54 cobblestone ended up with 50 well more than that but 54 compressed cobblestone and then ended up with 54 compressed dust so we are all ready to start running this through the sieve but before we do that i think we need to get some storage going on also want to show you these crazy things see my hunger man it's getting kind of low and we got these crazy mineral berries they come off you know whenever you chop these trees down they just fall check this out <laughs> Look at the sky, it kind of lights up. You get like a quick little burst of like night vision or something like that. They're kind of cool. Tasty and illuminating. That's pretty awesome. The other thing you can do with these crazy guys is you can make these torches. Man, do I have a stick? Let me get a stick out of here and make a couple of these. And just see what they look like when you place them on the ground. So you just do one of those and one of these. Whoops. Like that. Get yourself a torch. That's actually... Go put it down on the ground. I guess it just works like a normal torch. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool looking. A little bit different than your standard torch. Just put those around there. Man, how you like that? Man, not only can we eat these berries, but we can light the world with them. No. This might not be the best food to be eating if we can, like, turn them into torches and they light up the area. But whatever. It is what it is. All right. Let's get some storage drawers going on here. So I got a couple chests. And I think, let's see, let's see, drawers. I want to do these two by twos, I think. Eight stacks per drawer. Uh, let's see, where are the two by twos? Yeah, so we have oak, basic drawers. So we need four chests and then just planks around and like a plus sign, and we get four of these basic drawers. So let's make two stacks, or let's make a total of eight of these. And we'll just go like this, like that. And that should give us eight of those drawers okay we can make some more if we need to let me just go over here and put them in our spot that we were talking about being storage i think over here is probably good for now one two three four one two three four okay and let me see do we have anything we can put in there yet no um no where'd i get gun oh i got that from running through the sieve i guess all right let me take a look at one more thing well not there let's look here storage Controller. Hmm. Controller. From storage drawers. Uh, drawer control. That's it. Oh, we need some quartz. We need a diamond. Okay, as soon as we can make one of those, we will definitely do that. Now, I think I saw um, at RF Tools. Now, am I missing out on maybe a possibly better... 
early game storage kind of deal. Uh, no, not dimensions. Oh man, we're gonna be messing around with that. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, where's my RF tools storage? Uh, modular storage. Yeah, we can. Yeah, well, we're not any anywhere close to be able to make that. But I think as soon as we can start making some of this modular storage, maybe we'll get into that before we do refined storage because refined storage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're going to be expensive, right? So I don't think we're in a position control. Yeah, we need diamonds and we need tons of quartz and rich. Yeah, so maybe we'll do like the RF tools storage first. I mean, I haven't really done too much with that. Maybe we'll see how far we can go with that before we need to convert over to refined storage. You know, one of the things I'm going to try to do because I'm playing two 1.10 mod packs. We're playing Hermit Pack. We're playing Sky Factory. Try to do things a little different if we possibly can. Not, We might not be able to get away with everything being different, but if we could do some things different, man, I think we should do that for sure. Okay. So I'm getting ready to run that through the sieve. I have, let's see, 8 times 4. I have room for 24 different kinds of odds and ends. So we've got copper, aluminum, nickel, gold, lead. Um, any other ores? Iron. Oh, there's some random iron sitting in there. Silver. Maybe these crystallized mineral chunks we'll put in there. Mm, let's look down here. And then we got a bunch of stuff down here too. Let's just grab all that stuff out. We'll grab those guys. Nickel. Pumpkin seeds. Nice. Alright. I think that's enough for now. Let's go over here and just start putting it in here. I don't think there really has to be any like rhyme or reason for now why how this stuff goes in here. Uh, let's just do whatever that is. <laughs> and we'll just do oh hello rain of course you're pouring down on my head oh, of course it's morning too I can't even sleep through the night oh man um, any other stuff let's put these in our own drawer we'll do like that okay maybe we'll stick some coal in here too we'll just put it over here why not uh, gunpowder I don't think we need to worry about oh, man that rains annoying let me make sure we can't sleep. Nope, can't. Seems like it's raining all the time here on the Sky Factory world. Now, man, I feel like I'm yelling into the mic. I tell you what, let me go and get all of this stuff organized. Let me move some stuff around, and then when, well, as soon as this rain stops or it becomes nighttime, I'll bring you back, and we'll run all this stuff through our sieve and see if we can't get some redstone. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. We're getting ready to bust up all, or actually, not we've already done all the hammering we're gonna take this compressed dust and run it through our heavy sieve in just a minute but let me show you what I've been doing working doing a little bit of work off camera I got all my little ore pieces parts sort of uh, organized I have all this integrated dynamic stuff sitting over here and I've got all my different kinds of wood I had all these crazy like seeds I guess I got them from and we're eating worms again <laughs> might as well there we go. So, I had all these little seeds, right? Dark oak and acacia and spruce and things like that. So I just went ahead and planted some of them and got different kinds of wood and just collected all the saplings and just stuck them over there. And then the other thing I did is I went and got all my different seed types that I had. It's all kinds of crazy stuff. Pumpkin seeds and... Hey, you need to come out of there and go in there. Okay. So I have a little... Just all my seeds that I was able to get out of I guess running dirt and things like that through the sieve and I'm just trying to stay on top of things trying to collect we got a little bit of dirt going on here maybe we should stick that over here in one of these storage chests uh, let's see we'll just stick it right there that'll work and I think I'm gonna make a couple more four more of those guys over there you probably don't need me to like <laughs> you probably don't need me to like point with my body <laughs> that's funny I just thought about that. All right, let's make four more of these guys, and we're just going to stick them in. Let's do one like that, and we'll come back here. And I just want to put food stuff in here. So we've got potatoes. We've got those guys. Um, I think maybe I'm going to put bone meal over here with that stuff, just in case. And I think we have... Do we have any other food? No. 
that can stay there. These are all my books and things like that. Hey, I wonder if they have like a rack, an item rack, item rack. Ah, oh, man, we can make that. Okay, let's do that. Let's make a couple item racks. Have a great place that we can set them. Hopefully, they'll fit. Um, nope, we want it like this item rack. Okay. Let's make five of those guys. Will they fit right here along this edge? Ah, sort of. We'll just stick them right like so. And then we can get in our chest here. And we can get all this stuff out. Um, that's probably good. Alright, we'll put our environmental tech manual there. We'll put Tinker's Construct stuff there. Computer manual there. Put our achievement book there. Is that it? Yeah. But that, that made a little bit of room in our chest. That's awesome. Sweet. I love that. <laughs> Gives us something place. Man, is there like a bookcase, I wonder? Book. What is this? Oh, bookshelf. Mm. I don't think so. Okay. We don't want to spend too much time messing around with that, man. <laughs> It doesn't take long to blow through these episodes. So we got some storage, which is pretty cool. Got that going on. Man, we got our chest cleaned up. We're looking pretty good here. I mean, it's not great still, but it's definitely better than it was. Let's put all these guys there. We'll put these guys there. And we're going to run these over. The reason I'm being so crazy about making sure that we stay organized is, man, I am so bad at it. I'm bad at, bad at it in vanilla Minecraft, much less in modded minecraft let me get some of these guys these are going to be my food now i was debating on whether or not i should take these mineral berries and put them over here with food stuff but i think we're just going to leave them right there we'll leave all that stuff together who knows what we might get into before too much longer let's put this gravel in here in here okay yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what we get when we start sieving this stuff through here. So we have pretty much an empty inventory. We've got some gunpowder. Let's just put that away. I know we're not going to get any tools out. We have a couple torches. Man, it feels like it's kind of dark around here. I guess maybe that's because it's nighttime. Here, let's go back here and just lay a torch in like that. There we go. Perfect. All right, let me start the sieving process. Let's just do a couple. We're looking for what we're looking for is some redstone. Oh my goodness, look at all those crazy items we just got. <laughs> we're getting some gunpowder, we're getting some other odds and ends. Did we get some redstone yet? It's a 5% chance to get redstone. Alright, let me make sure. Redstone. Redstone. Heavy sieve. Iron stiffen mesh. 5%. Blaze powder and then all this other stuff. Okay, so I guess we're getting all the other stuff right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, let's just keep going. I tell you what, in the interest of time, because, you know, you guys don't need to see me sit here and just sort of grind this all down. Let me go ahead and jump off camera again and we'll get all this done. Man, I hope we get some redstone. That'll be not cool if we do not. So let's get this all grind up, and I'll bring you right back as soon as I'm done. And I won't put anything away, and we'll go through all the stuff that we have in our inventory and see what we can do from there. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. <laughs> Man, we got tons and tons of resources. Now, we didn't get all of those out of 50 or 54 compressed sand. You know, I was going to try to play it off, man, but you know I don't do stuff like that. I was sieving away here, you know, after I got off, ended that clip, and I was just going to town. I'm like, man, I'm not getting anything. I'm supposed to get glowstone. I'm supposed to get all these different things. Then I looked in here, and it was the flint mesh. It was that thing sitting in there. So the first, like, 25 or so blocks, man, were run through this thing. So I switched it out, and I ran through the rest, and I had three redstone. So I made 32 more compressed dust. And ran them all through. And we got some half decent materials for sure. We got a bunch of lead. We got tons of iron. We almost got two stacks of iron. Man, that'll translate into like almost 32 iron plus what we've got over there across the way. But I want to go ahead before I do anything else and see if I can't make myself some transfer pipes and a transfer node. 
I think I have some stone. I do. I thought I had some stone. Huh. I must have, must have used those. So let's go ahead and make some stone slabs. Hello, spinny thing. Let's not do that. I've been cooking up a little bit of sand in here, so we should be ready to go. So let's do three like this, three like this, and then I think it's just like that right there, right? And that should give us some extra utilities pipes. Oh, yeah. All right, now we need a transfer node. Let's see what we need for that. So transfer node items. We just need two more pieces of redstone, two pieces of stone, and a chest. Okay. Let's see. Do we have some, you know, we can do like this. Yep. Yeah. Um, what do I want to use? I think I'm just going to use stone. Uh, this, these are actually. I'll sh well, we might talk about why those are important. It's actually kind of cool for once. Actually, no. Let's convert this stuff right here back into oak planks, like so. And then we can make a chest like that. And we'll put stone on either side of it. A piece of redstone like that, and we can get hopefully. Four transfer nodes. Oh yeah, that makes me happy. Okay, so now we should be able to take this crazy guy. Oh, we could have used this chest right here since it's empty. Oh well, what are we going to do? Alright, we're going to put this guy maybe right on top like that. And let's go around the back side here and we're going to say transfer... Oh, I don't know if we can do it. That looked like that was... Oh no, it was working. Okay. So we're going to put this there and then where's our pipe unless we should just be able to run this pipe from here to there yep look at that just like that we got ourselves an automatic cobblestone generator and this chest can just fill up and once we get an entire row across here we'll convert it all into compressed Let's see what else we got we have some more laying around here awesome okay all right i need to go off camera one more time that was actually not as fast as I thought it would be. I know I'm making a bunch of cuts in here, but I'm trying to get a couple things done, and I don't want you to have to sit through this process of grinding up all of this stone. At some point in the near future, we're going to automate some of that ore processing. That might be an episode or two from now. We'll probably try to get it done this week, though, for sure. But uh, I don't want to have you set through this process. So what I need, though, is I want to make this generator from... Generator from integrated dynamics and a furnace super simple right we can make that in like two seconds but the problem is where did that guy go um, <laughs> it was just on my screen okay here let's do this um, integrated all right let's get this guy so so I need to make one of these batteries so these are easy this is easy because I think I have all the materials that I need. The problem is a block of redstone. So I have eight left over, and I knew I was going to be short. I was hoping to get 12 out of that whole process, and then we could have got ourselves, we could have made the cobblestone thing here, which is pretty awesome. And on top of that, we could have made the redstone block to be able to make that generator. But we can't do it quite yet. So let me jump off camera and just grind up some more cobblestone and see if I can't get another piece of redstone. And when I do, you know I'll bring you right back and we'll walk through the process and see if we can't get that generator going and maybe even get it fired up. Oh, yeah. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I made 32 compressed sand, and before my hammer broke, I was able to get 10 pieces of compressed dust. I ran them through my heavy oak sieve, and I got three more pieces of redstone. Actually, four more pieces. So now we've got a total of 12 redstone. We should be able to make this generator now. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a block of redstone. Let's take a look and see what that generator requires. Oh, it's this multicolored one. Nothing right there. Okay. So we need... The furnace is easy. So the generator, we need two blocks of crystallized mineral so we can do that really quick and then we just need some extra pieces parts right we need uh six of these guys okay so let's run over here and get some actually you know what we need to do we're going to do a couple things over here let's take these guys out yeah we should have enough and then i'm going to take all my iron out as well 
I want to craft it into chunks and we need to get this smelting up because hopefully oh no how about like that there we go oh my goodness <laughs> there's 16 there's another 16 and there should be another 8 okay 40 nice all right let's put that all in our furnace start getting that smelted up we'll go over here and put this extra one that we have left we'll just stick it back in its slot there there we go awesome all right let's go ahead and make some of these chunk things so we need two of those one two and then the rest of these should just be pieces parts so we got one there one there this goes in the middle and then we've got these on either side like so that gives us an energy battery okay and then we just need a couple pieces of cobblestone one two three four five six seven eight not sure exactly what we're going to be able to do with this guy so far let's make ourselves a furnace put this together and now we have a generator produces energy from fuel items okay let's just find a place to set this guy down uh, 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 not there <laughs> Let's go put it over here and see we've got an interface. Okay, so that's pretty simple. I have a feeling, though, we're going to need another battery. Let's see what happens. Um, okay. Oh, man, please tell me I just didn't waste a whole bunch of resources. That doesn't go in there. Oh, my goodness. We might have... Is there a manual? There should be a integrated... There's no manual. Produces energy from fuel items. Maybe we need to have a battery hooked up to it or something like that. It's got an internal battery. Should be able to... Get, let's see what we can... Do we have some coal or something? Let's go grab a piece of coal out of here and just stick it in there and see if it burns. Nope. Oh man, that, that makes me kind of grumpy. That was a ton of resources we just used. Let's get a piece of this. See if this burns. Hello? Well, awesome. Well, we'll have to do some research off camera. Man, that's kind of a waste. Dang generator. <laughs> Oh, well, what are we going to do? Man, that makes me angry. Anyway, let's let's not worry about that. So one of the things that I need to deal with here pretty soon is I've got... Uh, I've got a bunch of cobblestone being produced, and we want to get a, we want to have a way where we can actually make it into compressed cobblestone right off the top. And I'm pretty sure the auto compressor, which is this guy right here, will allow us to do that. So we need a block of iron, we need four pieces of iron, just regular iron ingots, and four crafting benches. So let's see, do we have some... Um, I could make four. Awesome. So let's go ahead and make four of those guys quick, just like that. And let's see how much iron we have cooked up. That's enough. That might, might do it. So we need a block of iron. Alright, we'll do that. And then we go like this with these guys. And then we go like these, right? Okay, let's put this guy down. Man, you better be doing something. Okay, auto compressor. Okay, obviously it needs power. Oh, I wonder if we... Uh, all right, here, maybe this guy. All right, come on, generator. Get over here and do some work. Dang guy. All right, let's see if we put this guy next to it. Will it, like, burn something now? Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. Okay, it just needed something to... Oh, man, why is it always raining? <laughs> oh, man. That's exactly what it needed. It just needed something to, to do its deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm sorry about all the bad things I said about you. Look at that interface. That's pretty cool, for sure. All right, now we've got this thing. Now, I want to know if I put cobblestone in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it does. Okay. Well, we don't have the best setup for this. Is that guy still burning away? Man, he is. Look at how much power it's generating. Oh, I love it. But too bad. We got to move it all. Okay, so let's move this. We got to move this guy. Okay. And what I would like to do is take this out of here. Move this. Okay. 
So we want to put our auto compressor here. We're going to put this little generator here. Is it still burning? Yeah, it's still burning. Okay, it lost all its energy, but that's okay. And then I should be able to take a transfer node out of this chest. Actually, you know what? I bet we don't even need to do that. Let's see if we can't get this back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. And can we hook up a pipe to it? We can. Okay. Yeah. So we can just pipe it right out of our generator into this thing and convert it into compressed cobblestone. So this whole deal right here, I guess we don't need to do that anymore. Let's go around the back side here and take this off. Oh, man. I almost felt like I was going to fall off the edge there. That's so sketchy. All right, so now we're making automatically compressed cobblestone. That's pretty cool. And that works out just the way I wanted it to. I love that. Okay, now I think I'm probably going to have to just take... How is that all like 61? Here, can I just like dump this in here like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. So that'll work perfectly. We'll get this thing all to be automatically compressed. Let's just grab the rest of this out of here. And then we'll break this. Break this guy. Okay. Alright, now this guy should just pump right into here. And that works pretty good. Awesome. Let's just put all of this like this. And if we ever just need regular cobblestone, it's not a problem. And then I should be able to take this guy here. Let's put this chest actually back on top of here, like a so. And we'll do like this. And we'll hook up another. We might have to go up and over. I don't want those to connect. Let's go like that. Okay. Let's go up like this and back in here and see if it will start putting in. It does. Okay, so this is awesome. So this guy right here is going to generate cobblestone. It's going to put it in our auto compressor. It's going to pull it out of the top and put it right back in this chest. And then whenever we need a bunch of crazy cobblestone to go and do our, our, our breaking everything down process, we're going to have it sitting right in there, stacks on stacks. I love that. And I guess maybe we could upgrade that to a full-size chest if we need to. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, man, we have done some crazy work today, despite the fact that we're standing around here in the pouring down rain. <laughs> We've got some stuff going on. So we have ourselves a little generator. I mean, it's doing pretty good. Let me see. Can I put that in there now? I can. Burn value 1600. Okay. Yeah. So it only uses 5 RF a tick. So that's not too bad. It's going to take a while for it to burn through all that. We obviously have some more coal. We can make some more charcoal. Man, we are in good shape. So we got ourselves our first little power generation. We've got our first machine that uses RF, and we're producing automatically compressed cobblestone. And I think the next thing we can do, there's like an auto hammer or two, right? See this guy just takes a little bit of iron, some weighted pressure plates. That's going to be a couple more pieces of iron, and then a diamond hammer. So we're going to have to get some diamonds, and from what I remember from looking at this earlier, we can iron stiffened mesh sieve compressed gravel, and we get a 7% chance. So... Maybe next time, we'll see if we can't get an auto hammer set up, and then, man, we are going to be set. Maybe then we can do a controller. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm having such a good time, despite the fact that it seems to be wanting to rain every day. Dang rain. <laughs> man, I hope you enjoyed the episode half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. But until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the Sky Factory, even though it's pouring down rain, we're living the dream. I guess we'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye.